Ok, now many of you would be curious to know how is the battery performance on Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra after updating the phone to stable One UI 4.0. So here I am sharing the real life test results on the device rocking Exynos 990 chipset and I have got a good news for you guys so keep watching and let's get that like meter rolling. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. I am hoping to get at least 500 likes for this video so let's see how you guys are going to support me. And yeah, I will be posting another video on the performance of One UI 4.0 on Note 20 Ultra very soon so stay tuned for that video. Alright now as soon as I got the One UI 4.0 stable version I did a complete factory reset to make the phone brand new. It's been a year since I did a complete reset so finally I did it after this major upgrade which is actually important to do if you want to get a better battery performance. So I suggest you also to do that. Ok now there are two different settings I have done this test in real life scenarios. In the first settings, the display was set to 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, enhanced processing was turned on, adaptive battery was on, always on display was turned off, I usually keep AOD turned off to save some battery, then the auto brightness was on, dark mode was on, power saving mode was of course turned off. In this scenario I have got the screen on time of about 4 hour 44 minutes. As you can see here uh, I have used YouTube for about 2 hours. Uh, WhatsApp for about 10 minutes, camera was used for about 8 minutes and uh, we have got Hotstar for 21 minutes, I have played some casual games, Subway Surfer for about 8 minutes, YouTube Studio for about half an hour, phone 15 minutes and many other applications I have used during this time. Now this screen on time is marginally better than the screen on time I used to get on One UI 3.1 on this device. I was getting close to about 4 hours of SOT in the similar settings before updating it to One UI 4.0 and before resetting the phone. So even this factory reset would have enhanced the battery performance along with the all new operating system. Alright now let's move to the second settings in which I had turned on the power saving mode, 60Hz refresh rate was on, adaptive battery was on, AOD was of course off, auto brightness was on, dark mode was turned on and of course the enhanced processing was turned off. With this settings I have got a screen on time of 6 hours 14 minutes which is much better than what I used to get on One UI 3.1. Again similar usage patterns I have used YouTube for about 2.5 hours, Maps for about 10 minutes, Hotstar 23 minutes, Facebook for about 10 minutes, WhatsApp for 15 minutes, Google News, Camera for 7 minutes, some casual gaming for about 10 plus minutes and so on. With this moderate usage getting 6 hours 14 minutes on power saving mode on this Exynos 990 chipset is not bad I would say. Alright now these are the results I was able to get on One UI 4.0 and I'm sure the factory reset also helped me to get a better result. So whenever you get a major Android upgrade go for a factory reset to improve the system stability and battery life. That's about it. If you have already upgraded to One UI 4.0 on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or any other phones do share your screen on time in the comment section below so that it can benefit the community and also let me know which country you are from and the chipset you are rocking on your phone. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.